Armenian Genocide Remembrance Day is a public holiday in Armenia and is observed by Armenians around the world on April 24th, a day known as Red Sunday. On that day in 1915, hundreds of Armenian community leaders, including lawyers, doctors, journalists, and politicians from around the Ottoman Empire were arrested and moved to two holding centers in what is now Ankara. While some were relocated within the empire's borders, most were killed. During and immediately after World War I, Ottoman Turks killed or deported as many as 1.5 million Armenians. For decades, Armenians have pressed the world to recognize the killings as genocide. But the label is strongly rejected by Turkey, who is a critical U.S. ally in the region. However, today, President Biden fulfilled a campaign promise and issued a statement formally recognizing the Armenian genocide of a century ago, becoming the first president to do so. The statement reads in part, quote, over the decades, Armenian immigrants have enriched the United States in countless ways, but they have never forgotten the tragic history that brought so many of their ancestors to our shores. We honor their story. We see that pain. We affirm the history. We do this not to cast blame, but to ensure that what happened is never repeated. Armenian's prime minister hailed the move as a powerful step towards justice. The Turkish government was reportedly incensed by the move, with a spokesman for the Turkish president tweeting, quote, We strongly condemn and reject the U.S. president's remarks, which only repeat the accusations of those whose sole agenda is enmity towards our country. We advise the U.S. president to look at his country's own past and present. Beyond statements, Turkey did not announce any retaliatory measures a notable change from when other Western nations have recognized the genocide. And back in 2019, Congress voted overwhelmingly to recognize that genocide. Today, politicians on both sides of the aisle expressed their support for President Biden's statement. Ruta Bay.